Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your next installment of Connecting with Your Inner Masculine Energies. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Saturday. And if you're not catching this on a Saturday, I hope you are having a fantastic weekend. And if you're not catching this over the weekend, I hope you have a fantastic week. Yeah. All right. So uh, quick, uh, quick little thing I want to say. Um, I did say this in the I did mention this in the feminine reading. So if you've already watched the feminine reading, then you're already you're, you already heard this. But I really want this to be a little more of a relaxed feel. There was a sense of urgency in the beginning when doing these readings on my channel here, and it was mainly because there was, I feel like, a desperate need or a desperate calling for us to really start integrating with our masculine, inner masculine energies. But now I just really wanna, I wanna take the sense of urgency out of it so much because it does feel like collectively we are in the process of really balancing, integrating masculine with feminine. And that definitely came through in the feminine reading. So the intention here is yes, to get an understanding of what's going on within, it, within your inner masculine energies. And you may be able to catch a glimpse of what may be going on uh, externally with an external counterpart that is the masculine to your feminine. Um, but also I want this to just be a nice, relaxed weekly check-in just to see how things are going just to give you a little bit of extra guidance something to think about in your meditations blah blah whatnot whatever and also keep in mind that this is a general reading all right so take what resonates and leave what doesn't okie dokie so let's just get straight to it the first thing I, I, as normal as usual i have four tarot decks here and then i'm going to be looking at four different things in terms of your inner masculine energy and then i'm going to be closing the reading with oracle guidance from the dragons yes so let's get straight to it First thing, oh wait, actually, you know what? No, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself here. I'm really excited. The I, and it's funny because I, I, I just finished the feminine reading. I cleared up, I cleansed the, you know, cleansed the readings, cleansed the deck, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, all right, masculine, let's get into it. He was like, I am so ready. Let's do this. I'm like, okay, all right, let's do it then. <laughs> Woo, all right, here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. Please give us a clear and accurate representation of the current energetic standing of our inner masculine energies. And please help guide us in, how, in terms of how we can further connect with and integrate with our inner masculine energies. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, before I go any further, I forgot that I wanted to light my sage. And look at that, blue lighter, um, which is the color that I, I, I focus on when I'm channeling the masculine energies or the color that I see here. So we're just gonna light this real quick, light this real quick. I know some of you are about to, are having an aneurysm right now because I'm lighting my sage with a lighter. Um, ow, I haven't really found, see, I'm even burning myself in, in mentioning that. I really shouldn't even be mentioning that because it's really not a big deal. So don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, great. Here we go. So looking, the first thing I want to look at, we're using the Oracle, the, the unicorn um, tarot deck here. I want to look at the current energetic state of your inner masculine energies. So let's get to this. Current energetic state of your inner masculine. I'm going to give this five shuffles here. What is the current state of your inner masculine energies? What are the current energies surrounding your inner masculine? That's two. Here's three. Here's four. And finally, shuffle number five. What is the current energetic state of your inner masculine energy. All right, here we go, kids. Let's see what we've got. Um, I'm seeing brown. I'm seeing the masculine is very, very grounded right now, which is a great, this is a good thing, or is working on becoming grounded here. What do we have? Oop, there you go, the Knight of Pentacles. Very grounded, very slow moving, sure. Slow and steady wins the race. There's another card that, ooh, 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 whoa. Oh man, oh, oh, oh man. And that card wanted to come out. It didn't come out specifically, but it was catching my attention saying, hey, pick me, pick me. So I took it. Overall energy, we've got the eight of wands. Excellent. 
Excellent. So there's a bit of mirroring that's coming through between the masculine and the feminine, because in this stage here, what the current ener surrounding energies were for you, for your inner feminine, she got the king of wands. That's coupled. That was coupled with the queen of pentacles here. The masculine is getting the page, uh, not the page. I'm sorry. The knight of pentacles with the queen of wands. OK, so this is really cool. Integration is absolutely at hand here. Both sides of the equation are really working. I'm hearing tirelessly to integrate with each other. And then we have this card of the, yeah, 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 there's that 10 of wands. The 10 of wands is the card that, um, that was peeking out from the side and was asking me to bring it forward. So, okay. The masculine, your inner masculine is definitely burdened by this process. The thing that I'm getting though, between the page, I'm sorry, the Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands is that, especially with the, the Queen of Wands in between that, or the feminine being in between that, the masculine is learning and integrating the feminine side, which is allowing him or her to, we'll say him. We're not talking about gender here. We're talking about your inner masculine energy and you have both masculine and feminine energy. So it's, it's, it's allowing him to decipher and understand what is burdening him, what is no longer serving him, what is no longer fruitful for him either is what I'm hearing and allowing him to slowly but surely let that grow as he goes through this process of integrating with the feminine. Okay, eight of wands is at the bottom of the deck. So even though, even though the masculine is moving fair, quite slowly, I guess you could say with this knight of pentacles energy, there is clear and open space for this to happen. All right, eight of wands. There may even be some communication coming through. It could be telepathic communication, but also it is communication, direct and honest communication between the masculine and the feminine, all right? And I do want to say the masculine is feeling pretty passionate about this, or it seems he seems to be feeling passionate about this because of the wands that are coming through with this. Okay. Wands are very passionate energy. Wands are also spiritual energy and creative energy. Wow. That's really excellent. So if you're a feminine out there and you're watching this to get an understanding of what's going on with your ma your inner masculine energy, maybe even get an understanding of what's going on with your masculine, a masculine counterpart in the physical, external, whatever, no shame, no, no shade, no tea, no, sh no shame, no shade, no, none of that. But um, oh, no, where was I going with that? Things might be moving pretty slowly. It may seem like things are moving pretty slowly, but don't worry about it. He's taking his time and actually he's trying to do this right, which makes perfect sense. And that's really, isn't that what you've been asking for, asking for a feminine? Mm -hmm. Doing it right. Taking the times that he needs, taking the steps that he needs to, 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 to take. To ground this energy into the physical for himself, to ground, especially when it comes to integrating with the feminine, okay, to ground that into physical reality. So a lot of that has to do with what does this actually mean for me specifically, and then how can I put that into practice in my life? That is no easy feat, especially if you are someone that is very strongly rooted in masculine energy, in uh, commitment form, logic, especially since the feminine represents the illogical or the intuition or the unknown or and, and, and psychic ability and all that stuff. And also the emotions, because let me tell you, the emotions are not rational, right? <laughs> and are not logical. Okay. So he really is working quite diligently in order to integrate this into his life and to make it so that it's 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 true to himself there is it is fairly burdensome okay with this ten of wands energy there is a lot he has to decipher there's a lot he has to sort through there's also a lot that he needs to let go of in order for this balance to take place but he's slowly but surely he's doing it okay it's happening all right Excellent. So now the next thing I want to look at with the epic tarot here is what are the current challenges that your inner masculine is facing? You have this five shuffles. What are the current challenges? Oh, you've got to be kidding. One of my lights just went out. <laughs> okay. What are the current challenges that your inner masculine is facing? That was one. This is two. Current challenges that your inner masculine is facing. Three, 
four current challenges that your inner masculine is facing and five let's see what we've got here all right here we go Interesting, because I, while I was talking about the current energy that your inner masculine is, like what the current energies that are surrounding your inner masculine, I was talking about the Knight of Pentacles, but I kept wanting to say the Page of Pentacles. And I, I meant to mention that, but I forgot. But that actually is quite perfect. And then here we have the Page of Pentacles in the challenge section, section for your inner masculine. In my opinion, as a reader, the Page of Pentacles is a level up, is a new start, is a new commitment, is committing to a new way of being, a new way of life, um, starting over maybe, starting from scratch, being the apprentice, learning something new, okay? 11, 11 on the counter. But um, so your, your inner masculine right now is currently challenged or faced with the fact that he is, uh, he is reaching a new level. And that level is what's allowing him to integrate with the feminine. Okay, you have the Six of Wands. Ooh, there you go. You got the Knight of Cups and then you got the Six of Swords. Overall energy of the Two of Wands. Okay, so what I'm getting with the Two of Wands for your inner masculine is the fact that he's really working on deciding what is the best way forward for him. What is the best path for him to take, especially in light of all this new divine wisdom and higher knowledge that has been down, that has been you know, we've all been downloading lately. Um, it's time to make a decision as to what is best suited for him moving forward, okay? That is, in fact, a challenge because it flies in the face of everything that he has known in the past, right? His ego might be getting in the way a little bit. We do have the Six of Wands. However, this is also translating into desire for a victory here. But his victory comes in terms of facing the emotions. Knight of Cups with the Six of Swords. Being able to move forward with your heart on your sleeve or move forward with what your heart is desiring, um, having an open heart, opening up emotionally, understanding one's emotions, moving away from emotionally manipulative tendencies. Boop, 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 yes. There is absolute victory in that. And what I'm getting with the Six of Wands, even though the Six of Wands is also representing a little bit of an ego battle, I'm also getting that there is a, a, one of the challenges for the, your, the, the inner masculine right now, which, is, which seems counter, uh, counterintuitive, but one of the challenges for him right now is the, the, the desire to succeed, the desire also to be, this, be emotionally available, to, to be able to master the emotional realm or find mastery, not, not master the emotional realm in terms of controlling the emotional realm, but finding mastery or success within the realm of emotions. However, that resonates for you know, him, him. That's excellent, that's really excellent energy. All right, moving forward, next thing I wanna look at is what does your inner masculine want you to know? Or in other words, what does your inner masculine want to say? Giving this five shuffles here. One. What does your inner masculine want you to know? What does your inner masculine want you to say? That was two. This is three. Four. Does your inner masculine want you to know? Five. All right. Let's see what we've got here. What does your inner masculine want you to know? <laughs> There's the Knight of Pentacles again. Surely, but slowly, but surely, I am making this happen with the two of swords. Ooh, overall energy, the seven of pentacles. All right, so what the inner masculine is saying right now is he's, he's helping you understand what maybe the holdup might be. Page, not, I'm sorry, not the page of pentacles, I keep saying that. 
The pay, I keep saying the page of pentacles because the masculine is entering into this new realm of existence and new realm of consciousness that is allowing him to expand, open up to his emotions, open up to his feelings, um, lead, open up to his heart chakra, lead with an open heart, um, uh, gain some sort of emotional maturity and whatnot, whatever. Okay. But right now he's faced with, there's a bit of indecision. Again, this two of swords is very similar to this two of wands energy. Your inner masculine is really trying to decide which direction to go in. And what I'm seeing with this knight of pentacles energy is him really working on putting the pieces together, together to gain some sort of understanding. With the seven of pentacles here, this is uh, an energy of, yes, you reap what you have, reaping what you have sown, but also... Um, be in an energy of making a conscious effort to understand how you may have gotten to a certain point or how you have developed or grown or produced certain fruits of your labor, whether you like those fruits or not. And if you don't like them, how do you move forward and change your harvest, get something new, right? So it's not that he's being indecisive or being stubborn or being uh, in, uh, in denial so much so. He's, he's re what he's really trying to say here is, I'm really working on figuring it out. What does this mean for me and how do I bring this into a tangible 3D um, physical existence? How do I embody what it is I've learned, what it is you are teaching me, I'm hearing, I guess that's to the feminine, and how I can embody this and make it work. Now, there may be, there may be, what he is saying here also, I'm, be, I'm becoming aware of the fact that there are some, there may be some instances where he's kind of like beating around the bush. He's, maybe he's not, but what he's saying, in, he's defending himself and he's saying, if that's the case, then I'm just not ready for that. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to avoid it. I'm not trying to escape it. I'm just not ready for that yet if there are some things that he might be beating around the bush about. But don't look, if you're a feminine out there and you're watching this, trying to integrate, well, trying to get a glimpse of what may be going on with your masculine counterpart in the external world, please do not focus on what it is he, that he's doing or she is doing. That is none of your responsibility. You cannot do anything to, to help that, nor should you be lending any of your energy towards his or her circumstances. You need to be focusing on you, yes? Now, some of you, I'm already, I'm picking up here that some of you are resonating with this in terms of your inner masculine energy. Um, even if, especially if you're standing firm, if you're very strong and, and you're mostly a feminine oriented in energy and in nature, you actually could be experiencing this in your life. So work to understand where you may be feeling indecisive or where you might be feeling a little bit, a little bit stuck, maybe even a little bit stagnant. And then from, from, and then from your place of being pretty firm in your own inner femininity, help you bring forward that nurturing energy to help your own inner masculine energy along. You can absolutely do that. But when it comes to a counterpart in the physical environment or an external counterpart, that is their responsibility. You cannot take any part of that on for them, okay? It is not your place to do so. They have to work their way up there. They have to, and, 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 and this is not to, this is not coming from a place of resentment or spite. It's literally because of the fact that if you do that for them, then they won't learn the lesson. And nothing will really change. It won't really help them. They have to learn the lessons for themselves, just like you had to learn the lessons for yourself. Okay? So any masculines out there that are watching this that are getting a little bit triggered by me saying, do not help, do not send any message to help, Please understand, again, it's not from a place of being spiteful or resentful. It's from a place of understanding that you have to learn your own lessons yourself. That is a physical embodiment of the Queen of Pentacles energy, which is where the feminine has been coming, ha has been coming up as or represented as for some time in these energetic readings, okay? Which, in fact, is a card that came out for the feminine in her current energetic state. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. <laughs> 
Yes. <laughs> okay. Anyway, let's move forward. So the next, the last thing I want to look at in terms of the Tarot is what action steps can we take to further integrate with our own inner masculine energies? Yes. I'm going to give this five shuffles. Two. Three. What action steps can we take to further integrate with our own inner masculine energies? And four. And a five. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Action steps. Action steps to further integrate with your inner masculine energy. energy Ooh, the queen of cups more mirroring all right um, this came out on the well the queen of cups came out for the feminine as what was challenging well what the feminine wanted to say and there was a need to be more compassionate, more loving, more unconditionally loving, more understanding to allow your empathy to really shine forward. OK, to come out of a queen of more of a queen of swords, dominant energy and move slat, move back into that queen of cups energy in the 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 um, unconditional love and emotional balance and psychic and intuition and blah, blah, blah and all that. Um, but from a, a better place of boundaries, of course, right? You have the Palace of Wands, which I'm going to have to look into the book for because that is a unique part of this deck here. Oh, you have the world in reverse. You have the lovers. You have the Ace of Cups. You have the Wheel of Fortune. You have the Three of Cups and you have the Eight of Wands. What I'm getting with the world in reverse and the lovers is the masculine is asking, well, I know this is more from the universe, but in terms of the masculine, okay? But... Uh, this isn't over <laughs> is basically what the masculine is saying. This isn't over between us. You can never really disconnect from me no matter how much you try. And I understand I'm not trying to make that any harder for you than it already is, but we're actually making it harder for ourselves in trying to, in thinking or believing that we will never, we will ever really be disconnected from each other, even though we may not be speaking or physically in contact with each other in the physical, we're never going to be separate from each other okay so this isn't over all right so any attempts that you might be making to like completely cut cords 100 percent severed ties and whatnot whatever i mean it's futile ace of cups wheel of fortune Ooh. um what i'm hearing with this is reconnection in the physical is destined whether it's with a certain person that you have perceived to be your counterpart or not whether it, or whether it's someone new that is actually more in alignment with you. This is bound to happen. Ace of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, okay? Three of Cups is the union. Eight of Cups, uh, I'm sorry, Eight of Wands, is a union and a celebration. The Eight of Wands is communication in, in clear and open air. For communication to happen, for the bond to be, mm, I heard spoken about. I do want to look at what the Palace of Wands represents have to look and get into the book for that one however this is the um this deck is the uh tarot of dreams by uh lee the, well the, the 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 deck is illustrated by cyril marchetti but then the book is by lee bernstein apparently bernstein excuse me okay 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 let's see let's see palace of wands here we go <clears throat> this card shows a warm environment that encourages creative inspiration and the launching of plans and projects. The structures are built into a mountaintop, 
suggesting both the long climb ahead and also the attainability of the goal. Butterflies symbolize transformation of dreams into reality. The red roses signify passion. The structures are lit from within with the fires of the heart. Statues portraying the, the Knight of Wands symbolize forward momentum and focus. Ah, uh, yes. So this here, these here, these two, that one there, that one there, those are the statues that symbolize the Knight of Wands. Now, as I was reading through this, that was absolutely corroborating the energy that I was picking up on. This is a message directly for the feminine, obviously, in integrating with the masculine, but you need to be more compassionate. And this came out in the, in the feminine, connecting with your inner feminine. Being so queen of swordsy, being so cutthroat is really a detriment to yourself and to this journey. It's really only keeping things at bay. It's holding things, oh, I want to say holding things hostage. <laughs> okay. Um, but in order to really connect with your inner masculine, you have to step into this place of, number one, unconditional love and compassion with the queen of cups, but also this, this palace or this energetic uh, 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 surrounding, or maybe even you can... You could see it as a physical home of creative expression where basically anything is possible, where you can create anything that your heart desires, but you have to acknowledge the fact that you cannot be without the masculine, just like the masculine cannot be without the feminine. I mean, think about it this way, guys. Everybody has masculine and feminine energy within, right? They're two parts of the same whole. You have to be willing to accept this and be willing to let go of whatever pain or whatnot, whatever you've experienced in the past associated with this in order to really be able to integrate and balance these energies in f for yourself. Regardless of whether or not you are looking to, to connect or reconnect with a certain individual that may have catalyzed or kickstarted this situation for you to begin with. That is not the point, especially if you are work, if you, if you have any sort of intentions of balancing or, or yeah, this is from, this is coming from a place of the ego. If you have any sort of egoic intentions of balancing or uh, balancing your, your, your your energies, balancing the union between masculine and feminine within just so that you can have a counterpart or just so that you can reconnect with this person, you're not really going to be getting there. You have to do this with intentions of becoming the best version of yourself as you possibly can. And holding, yes, of course, you can hold the intention of wanting to have a partner, but that, but, 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 but achieving this balance just so you could have a partner is not the way to go about this. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Okay, let's close out this reading here with your oracle guidance from the dragons, yes? Yes. Okay, here we go. Closing message, oracle guidance here in terms of connecting with your inner masculine. Ooh, chow. The top one. Okay. Ooh. We have a white gold dragon from Lyra connects you to the highest Christ light. Develop your causal chakra, which I believe we got this card before. Maybe it was in Morning Coffee. Develop your causal chakra. Bathe in ninth dimensional Christ light. Or actually, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was one of these readings. Was it the last one I did? Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Um, here we go. White gold dragon from Lyra. Or Lyra? Lyra. Or Lyra. I don't know. Whatever. Let's see. There it is. This is a seventh dimensional dragon. Excellent. Okay. I'm going to say Lyra. <laughs> Lyra is the cross shaped 12th dimensional stargate through which Archangel Christiel and the unicorns enter our universe. The light from Lyra pours down through the moon, allowing scintillating seventh dimensional dragons to step through into the vibration of Earth. 
these white gold dragons embody the highest frequency of the Christ light available to everyone on this planet. They work closely with Archangel Christiel, who is in charge of the development of the causal chakras of humanity. Um, I, okay, so I don't think it was this card that came out, but something about the causal chakra did come out in the past, and I believe that's um, above the crown. Is it the 10th chakra? I don't remember. I'm sure those of you that do remember can or do know can can inform us. Put it the information in the um, the description box. Uh, 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 uh. This is particularly important now, as our causal chakra is our connection to the higher dimensions of spirit, the dragons, angels, unicorns, and masters. The white gold dragons from Lyra help to clear the and develop our causal chakra and illuminate our highest possible ascension path. The guidance here says, these white gold dragons are attracted to you now because you are ready to carry Christ light in your aura. Ask one to take you to the ninth dimensional pool of Christ energy held in Lacume. Visualize yourself bathing in the pool which shimmers and swirls with pure love and light. Feel yourself absorbing all you have already, all you are ready to receive. Let me say that again. Feel yourself absorbing all you are ready to receive. When you return, continue to feel the white gold light in your aura and practice pure unconditional love in your daily life. Your aura will radiate the incredibly high frequency of white gold and the white gold dragon from Lyra will support you by continuing to pour Christ light into you. Take time to find a quiet still place where you can listen to its wisdom and guidance. There you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, I hope you guys have a great weekend or a great week ahead. And I look forward to connecting for our next reading next time. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.